what we had this morning was a breakfast for small local businesses to educate me and to speak to each other about how we can do a better job of providing opportunity for small minority and local business. We all recognize that small business is the heart of the success of Montgomery County. The overwhelming majority of Montgomery County workers are employed by small businesses. We all know that we need to evaluate. We all know that we can improve and so that's the purpose today. The thing that I want to say right out right from the get-go is we can do better. 96 percent of the businesses in Montgomery County have 49 employees or less. Every single one of them is eligible for the local small business reserve program. Two-thirds of them have less than five employees. So when we talk about small business, small business is big business in Montgomery County. We're going to go around table by table and I want you to be mentally composing about 30 to 45 seconds of remarks. You're going to introduce yourself. You're going to introduce your business. My name is Kirk Holmes. Uh, Holmes & Associates, Inc. is our firm. Good morning. I'm Robin Axtell, and I'm the principal of Axtell Design. My name is Epi Hankins. I'm the president of EOH Group. I'm Jim Worley. I'm the uh, managing partner of Evergreen Partners. Uh, good morning. I'm uh, Craig Maloney. I'm with CEM Design Architects. And if you've had any experience working with Montgomery County, has it been good or bad? what could be improved. With them, the first thing they'll ask you is if you have any experience with the government, mm. which I don't. So is it really fair for us to be penalized per se for not doing business with the government because we can get into the door? I would say though in terms of what would be a, 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 an added value suggestion going forward with regards to what the county can do, I think it's providing incentives to prime contractors. I understand that from a legal standpoint, there's no such thing as a mandate, but we certainly can provide some incentives for them to be serious about uh, the participation of minority and local small businesses. I've only ever seen one thing we could bid on, which we did, and it wasn't funded. So I'd like to see something more focused on uh, you know, the website developers and people like us in media production. Would it be possible to have a different kind of forum where the large corporations and middle-sized corporations in the county were invited to meet with small businesses. When contract requirements say I have to have two million dollars of insurance, have to have a half a million dollar performance bond before I can even apply for the contract, that begins to make it very limiting for people who are truly small business. But my only critique would be moving towards a more electronic submission. Now what I heard in the beginning was that there's X billions of dollars available, and then I've also heard a lot of people speak here that they're having a lot of difficulty getting a contract. For those of you who um, have tried to get contracts through the LSBRP program here in Montgomery County, there is hope. I can tell you I got a contract. It took six years. Oh. <laughs> I don't have any experience with the county small business reserve program. I didn't even know it was in existence, so I'm, I'm glad I came this morning. Wow, well, somebody got a benefit out of this breakfast. <laughs> There's a piece of legislation that was passed by the council last year um, called the Small Business Navigator. We are in the process of interviewing for that right now. We hope we will fill that job by mid-February. This will be the first addition to our department in the small business arena and the job responsibilities are to help people navigate their way through Montgomery County system. Not only on this program but any other issues that they have. But we're going to use this person as an outreach person to the small business community. I learned about the range of services where small businesses are trying to sell their products or their services to the government. I learned that um, some people are very happy with the help they're getting, others not so much. That's not surprising. Um, I think there really is a conscientious effort on the part of Mr. Leggett and his senior staff, but there's more that we can do. We need to break up the large contracts. We need to publicize the large contracts so that subcontractors can go to the primes and compete. We need to be very accessible at all times. The new small business navigator position that the county council added will be helpful. You need a staff person to walk you through the process to break it down in plain English. So those are some of the things I learned. So I just want to close by thanking you for what you do. You get up every single day and you pay taxes and you hire people and that's what keeps our economy afloat.